Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shari J. It's been such a long time since I made a video. I think the last video I made was back in June. And I wanted to explain what's been going on with me, why I've been gone, um, and just everything. I wanna lay it all out there. And so I'm gonna start from June because y'all know I used to do monthly videos of my recaps. So we're gonna start from June since that's where I left off. And uh, the month of June, I was excited to start uh, swim class. I had four 45 minute classes at the YMCA. I wanted to learn how to swim because I was going on vacation in California and I just wanted to swim out there. So uh, to make a long story short, I did not learn how to swim. Um, <laughs> the first two classes that we had, uh, they were with different instructors. So we basically kept repeating the class because the last instructor didn't know what the other instructor did. And we, yeah, it was just a mess. And so by the third class, we had our real instructor and it wasn't really enough time for us to learn how to swim because we missed out basically on one class, one full class. I learned everything except the breathing techniques. Um, so I don't learn how to swim. Um, I hope to learn. My aunt was supposed to teach me, but then she moved. So I don't know. One day I will learn how to swim, but I didn't learn, uh, in June. So that was a bit of a bummer. But the day of my last class, uh, my last swim class was the day I went kayaking and oh my God, that was so much fun. I felt like I finally did something that I've always wanted to do, but was so scared to do. And that was the most amazing experience. We went kayaking in Nashville. We went kayaking to downtown. So we passed like three bridges and it was just so scenic and beautiful. Even though it was hot as hell that day, it was like 95 degrees. And because I had swim class, I didn't think to pack stuff for kayaking. I was just only packing stuff for my swim class. So I didn't bring a hat. I didn't have no water. <laughs> I didn't, I had shades, but I didn't have my shade cleaner. So they were like dirty and it was just a mess. But luckily I didn't get sick or anything like that. Um, but it was really, really hot, but I still had a really good time. And, oh, that was just, it was such an amazing experience. I was like, oh my God, kayaking is going to be like something I always want to do. So that was dope. Um, but in June, my therapist was taking some time off. So I didn't have any, I don't, I think I had like one therapy session in early June, but I didn't have any therapy sessions um, after that. And I, I was like, maybe I don't even need therapy. Like, maybe I'm good. Maybe I don't need therapy. But towards the end of June, I had a panic attack. And I never had a panic attack before. So that was a crazy experience. I hope to never have a panic attack again. It was awful. And the situation, I don't really want to get into it. But basically, it was something stemming from back home. And it, it wasn't even like something that I was directly affected by. Like my emotions were affected by it, but it wasn't my situation. So that's what kind of threw me off guard. Like I was surprised that I had a panic attack for something that didn't um, didn't directly affect me. So that was, I was really shocked by that. Um, and I also kind of fell off of ADF in June. My just, it's like my emotional state was just so messed up, but I still thought like, oh, you know, I need therapy, I'm good, whatever. Like, I'm not talking to my therapist and I'm handling things. I was not handling things. Um, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, but yeah, I fell off ADF. And so in June, I mean, in July, after the panic attack, I was like, okay, I'm going to start talking to my therapist again. I'm going to get back into doing ADF. And I was really excited about it. Um, July is like probably one of my favorite months of the year because we have the fireworks and I always love getting together with people. And I went to the fireworks with um, my aunt and my friend and we had a ball, had a good time. And then right after that, I got sick. Um, I thought I was really, really nervous because I thought that I had COVID because I was sneezing. I had a fever. I was coughing. Um, ugh, it was a mess. And so after a while, you know, the symptoms just 
stay the same. And I finally went to the doctor and I was like so nervous about COVID, but I did not have COVID. I had a sinus infection. So I was like, okay, when I get better, I'm going to get back into it. And I had a therapy session. This was a month before I went on vacation. So I was super excited to go on vacation. And uh, one thing was kind of weighing on me because somebody was telling me, uh, because my family members was telling me I should go and uh, visit this person. And uh, I didn't want to do it. I was holding on to something from the past and they were like, you need to let it go. You know, you're you're making a big deal out of nothing. You tripping, it's not that serious. You know, just basically not understanding where I was coming from. And so maybe I was thinking, well, maybe I am crazy. Like maybe I am tripping, like maybe I should see this person. And so I talked to my therapist about it and she was like, well, first of all, your feelings are valid. And that may not seem like a loaded statement because I say it all the time. When people come to me about their problems and they're saying, I feel this way, but this person's saying this. And I say, always say, your feelings are valid. That's the first thing I say to them. But no one ever said that to me. And that conversation about validating your feelings and and uh, we worked through the issue. And it was the first breakthrough I had in therapy. Because, you know, for I feel like for like the first two months, we were just, it was like surface level shit. Like, it wasn't anything serious. And that's why I was like, well, maybe I don't even need therapy. Like, I'm not really getting anything from it. it like, it's it's good. But like, <sighs> that was the first breakthrough. And that junk hit me so hard. And I started having nightmares about a traumatic experience um, from last year. And it was something that I knew I needed to talk about in therapy, but was really reluctant to do it because I knew it was going to bring up some stuff. And I didn't want it to bring all this stuff up before my vacation because I was like, I want to enjoy my vacation. I don't want to have to like worry about stuff and try to figure stuff out. But I started having nightmares about this particular um, traumatic event that happened to me last year. So I was like, well, maybe I can get away with like just keeping it off for one more week until I go on vacation and we can talk about it after I get back. Nah, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> as soon as I sat down with my therapist, she was like, okay, we need to talk about this person. And I was like, oh, hell, like I, I we gonna have to talk about it. So we talked about it and then that, triggered another situation that happened to me a long time ago and I realized that I suppress a lot of stuff and I didn't know that I had like no idea when stuff happens to me I usually just be like okay how can we fix the situation and how can I move on and so I fix this I fix the situation and then I don't think about it anymore <sighs> didn't realize that I was suppressing stuff so it triggered another situation that was traumatic a long time ago. And then I just started having all these feelings and thoughts like, I don't, I must not love myself because I allowed myself to, I allowed this person to do this to me. And, you know, I didn't even do anything about it afterwards. And this person did this to me back then and I didn't do nothing. And it was horrible. I was literally, I feel like my whole life was just shattered in one therapy session. I was crying the whole weekend. I felt like shit. I didn't, I was like, I don't even want to go on this vacation. I want to cancel my trip. But I had already like, this was the first vacation that I paid for everything in advance. Like everything in advance was already paid for. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to go. I don't want to do, I don't want to see nobody. Like I was just going through it. I remember the very next day, um, I woke, I set my alarm for 530 because y'all know I love my morning walks. I was <laughs> still, you know, working out and everything. And, um, I couldn't get off the bed. I set it for 530. My alarm for, I set my alarm for 530 and I got up like 15 minutes before that, which never happens because 530 is early enough. Uh, I got up like 15 minutes before it and just laid there and then the alarm went off and I couldn't get out of bed. Like I, I physically could not get out of bed. 
And I was like, oh shit, because I've dealt with depression before. When my father passed away, I was depressed. So I knew, and I knew what depression looked like and felt like. And I was feeling like I was like getting depressed. And I was really nervous about it because number one, I'm about to go on this trip. I want to be in like good spirits. And secondly, I don't want to be depressed. Like who wants to deal with that? So I sent my (laughs) therapist a letter like, yo, I feel like this depression is about to come on. I don't want to have to deal with this. Tell me what I can do to knock myself out of this. I'm still crying every single day. Like, what can I do to shock myself out of this feeling? And she was like, unfortunately, you can't just shock yourself out of that. Like, you have to, you're grieving. You suppressed so much stuff and you're realizing what happened to you. You're grieving and it's a process. I, I wish I could tell you it could be over and done with in like a, a couple hours, but it's not It's not like that. And she's like, how about we have a session before you leave? Because I wasn't going to have therapy because I was going to be on vacation when I normally have therapy. So I was like, that's probably a good idea. So we talked before I left and it made me feel a lot better. It gave me coping skills because I was, like I said, I was just my whole life felt shattered honestly and I was just an emotional wreck and (laughs) it was awful so I went on vacation now this is August I went on vacation um and it was okay like I actually vlogged while I was in uh California and I'm actually gonna put that footage up because when I got back I was like I'm not putting that footage up I'm not I'm done like I don't even want to think about it (laughs) But I looked at the footage and I was like, it's not bad. Like, I actually had a good time. The whole whole vacation wasn't great, but it was it was pretty good. I actually had, I feel like the overall trip was pretty good. Just not everything about it was great. Um, so I will be putting that footage up. Uh, that will be my next video. So anyway, so now, you know, it's, it's, the, it's like mid-August. And I felt a lot better. I ended up cutting out two people in my life that probably didn't need to be in her in the first place. Like, I feel like they served their time. You know how some people, they say, like, when, when relationships don't serve you, it's time to let them people go or whatever. So it was time to let them go. And it's always been hard for me to cut people out of my life. I've always been really envious of my friends and my sister they're both Gemini's and they can cut people out their lives like that like it ain't no feelings after it they're just done they can ghost people without a problem I've never been like that so I finally cut those two people out of my life and I felt so great about it but then eventually you have to grieve them those people too when I was just like Oh my God. Like I knew therapy. They People always say therapy can be hard. I didn't realize that is an understatement. <laughs> it's like an emotional roller coaster, especially for me because I suppress so much stuff. Everything was coming up that I haven't thought about in years. And it was just like killing me. So needless to say, I fell off doing ADF again. I wasn't even exercising after I got back from Cali I wasn't exercising I wasn't cooking I was eating out every other day um it was bad like I I just didn't have the energy to do anything and I was just so at first I was like feeling bad about it like in July like when everything kind of hit the fan I was like oh my god like I can't even work out I can't do this and then I was like I don't even care. Like, I just need to to focus on my mental health and not focus on shit else. So I wasn't even trying to think about working out, trying to think about eating right. I was just trying to keep it together. Like, honestly, it was a lot. But um, towards the beginning of September, I started feeling like myself again started working out again I started going uh bike riding because I I went bike riding in Cali and I loved it I had such a good time it just reminded me of a kid when I used to go bike riding with all my friends and like I would be like the captain or whatever like follow me and all that stuff it just made me feel good and um I started doing that and 
kind of ease myself into just getting back to like walking and stuff and just just getting back into a routine um because I missed that and I felt like my mental was okay like oh, okay we're good we can we can get back to like the regular schedule program and so to speak so the thing is though like I was all this time I was like I need to make a video like people I I want to like let people know I'm okay because I was getting emails and people like are you okay like we miss seeing you and I was like what like where because I wanted to I just couldn't like I seriously sat down to do a video several times and I just burst into tears like and and I know some people do that they get on YouTube and they just let it all out I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that um because I sometimes watch my videos and I didn't want to see that my personally so I was like I'm just gonna have to wait until I'm ready and so I'm finally here <laughs> finally letting y'all know um I don't know when I'm gonna be back to doing like recap videos and stuff because I'm just I'm just getting back to normal like even today I had a little emotional freak out and then I'm about to have another a session with my therapist we're about to explore something else that I know is gonna make me emotional and I hope it don't shatter my whole world, but it's about to be real. Like we off the surface level stuff, we digging in deep. And so I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what's been going on with me. Um, it's so crazy how when I started doing ADF, that was the main focus in mental health. I was just like, oh, I'll get therapy, you know, and, and we'll see. I don't really have a lot of issues, but we'll see. And now it's like, Mental health is my main focus and weight loss is just, it's there because I still, like I said, I still, you know, I want to be healthy. That hasn't went away, but like I'm realizing I need to prioritize my mental health before anything else. And um, again, I'm still working out. I, I just cooked for the first time, maybe like two weeks ago. I just cooked dinner yesterday, cooked some lunch today. So I'm getting there, but I'm not there where I want to start documenting things again so I'm hoping by October I'll be where I can like start doing regular videos again and, and vlogging and stuff I just don't know I just don't know um I'm also starting a new position I, I actually interview I was so scared to interview for a new position but I got the job and I start that position on Thursday which I'm really excited about um, so it's just a lot of changes and I feel like I'm changing the way I think about stuff and I'm giving myself, uh, grace to not rush into stuff. I'm, I'm always like, I'm about to do this, like, you know, be gung ho and I'm not doing that no more. It's like, I'm changing the way I think about everything and it's scary, but it's also a good thing. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, that's where I'm at right now. I really do hope to start regularly vlogging in October, honestly. Um, but I just don't know. And then you might like get several videos from me this month. I, I literally don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time. Honestly, I am. And so I do want to thank all of you guys who did reach out to me. There was some comments on my last video like, hey girl, you okay? We haven't heard from you in a while or have somebody heard from Shari? So, and again, those people who send me emails, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. I looked in my email box, I think for the first time this week and I was like, holy shit, like I didn't think people care like that. So thank y'all so much. And um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be back soon with regular content, but we will see. And uh, I will put up my vacation video. That will be the next one that you see because I don't have to film nothing. That's already been filmed. So, But that's it for this video. I'm so glad I got through without crying because, again, I've tried to film this video several times and didn't make it through. So... <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I'll, I hope all of you guys are doing well out there. Take care of yourself. It's, man, I just thank God that I'm able to even afford therapy. Like, I thank God that my insurance covers it because 
Lord knows I really do need it and it's really been helping me. So yeah, but that's it for this video, guys. I will talk to you guys in the next one. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Bye.